What's up guys, Shawnee Dogs here, and if you've been following me on Twitter, you'll know that I managed to sleep for 13 hours yesterday. I don't know how it happened, I guess my body chose yesterday to recover, I was behind on sleep, but I was still gonna make a video even though I woke up pretty late. And I don't really know how to explain this, there's basically an ongoing situation, there's a lot of personal details involved so I can't really share it with you guys, I wish I could. I'm sure I'll feel more comfortable talking about it in a few weeks time once it's all over, but basically, it's going to make it really difficult to upload each and every single day. I'm going to try my best, but I might miss a few days here and there. I will still keep you guys as updated as possible, especially when new things come out in the game. But if I miss a day here and there, trust me, it is not because I want to at all. If it were up to me, I would be uploading every single day. I would have a complete schedule and I'd be streaming daily as well, but I can't do that either. So I'm going to make a huge promise to you guys that within a month, 30 days from when this video is posted, it's currently July 31st, so it will be at the end of August. If I am not uploading every single day and back to streaming on at least most days, it means that either I completely failed or I'm dead. In either case, you guys can unsubscribe on August 30th if I don't pull through. I just want you guys to know that I'm doing literally everything in my power to try and make this work. And on that note, let's get straight into the topic of today's video. So I'm telling you, and you can think about this one for yourself. If I went around and asked each and every one of you guys, how much sleep should you be getting every single night? I can almost guarantee that 90% of you at the very least, like an overwhelming majority would tell me eight hours. It is pretty much common knowledge. Whoa, slow your roll there, Sean. What on earth does this have to do with Call of Duty? I'm glad you asked that question. It turns out the average adult get 6.8 hours of sleep. So let me put it this way, whether you're nine years old or you're 90 years old, when you wake up in the morning and you decide to go to school, work, the insane asylum, whatever the case may be, when you come back after a long day, you decide to wind down with some Call of Duty, do you really think that you're gonna be playing at your peak performance if you're running on less than that eight hours of sleep? The answer is no. Are you still gonna do it? Of course. How else would we function? There's some days where you're just not gonna get those eight hours. And me personally, I am a huge offender. I just slept for 13 hours. That's how far behind on sleep I was. And I said this in a video a very, very long time ago, like how important sleep is to playing Call of Duty. Like you may think it doesn't make sense. You may think I'm lying. If you're someone who sleeps less than eight hours a night, the next time that you do manage to get those eight hours, Try to play Call of Duty, I am telling you, you're gonna play lights out, you're gonna be playing like a champ, because although you may not notice it, you may think you can function on those like six or seven hours, it makes a huge difference. Call of Duty is one of the fastest paced games out there, and one of the first things that you start to lose when you're deprived of sleep is your reaction time. You need that if you're playing Call of Duty. You may not notice it because it's literally just tiny little milliseconds, but those milliseconds mean the difference between winning and losing a gunfight or making the right decision at the right time. Those few milliseconds are the exact same reason why I recommend playing at no more than a six sensitivity at max. Because I mean, there's times where I've gone ahead and dropped a nuke on like two hours of sleep and I could go and put my sensitivity on 20. I can still drop nukes, but it is nowhere near as consistent as when you're on that low sensitivity running on a good amount of sleep. Consistency is one of the most sought after traits for good Call of Duty players. I don't know if you guys watch the pros play this game, but yesterday they had the season two finals. Optic managed to pull it out in the end. And the main thing that the announcers were talking about is that the team got solid performances out of both Crim6 and Karma. That was basically the reason that they won because you can pretty much always expect the other two players, Scump and Formal, at the very least to go even in terms of KD. And the inconsistent performances out of Karma and Crim6 in past tournaments were the reason why they weren't able to see success until now. If you guys don't watch the pros and you have no idea what I just said for the past minute, Basically, consistency is key. You wanna be playing on a low sensitivity and operating at your full capacity. So the next time you're one of my teammates and you go one in 17 and make us lose the game, please just go get some sleep and then come back to Call of Duty. But now what I've got for you guys is a lightning quick live comm nuke that I got for one of my subs. 
The game only lasted four and a half minutes and I almost dropped a double nuke. It was just completely ridiculous. I can assure you that I was running on eight hours of sleep before I got this one. So I hope you guys enjoy. And before I get to that, I wanna give a quick shout out to the notification squad. I'll show a few of you guys on screen here. To join, all you have to do is hit that little bell icon. And if you're one of the first people to watch and like my videos, screenshot it and at me on Twitter for your chance that I will get a live com nuke for you on the channel. I do at least one of those a week. And if you don't like taking your chances, I do also get live com nukes for supporters of the channel on my Patreon page. And a link to that page is in the description of all my videos. All right, we're making some good decisions today, boys. We're using a trencher when this is the go-to K-Bar map. K-Bar or Erad? It's it's bread and butter on this one, but uh, we're rocking the trencher and the centurion to boot Okay All right, the other guy ran let's get out of here Not too sure where they are Hmm, Nate's coming in Okay, there's, yeah, I'm not winning that gunfight. There's two of them Got the reinforcements coming in though. Oh, and there's a guy behind me. He just got gunned. We definitely flip. Oh, it's too easy. That was his challenge. That was the one guy guarding the doorway. Oh, and he didn't even get a shot on me. Oh. Gunned. Oh my god. Uh, really? They just keep coming. Oh my god. Oh, Nates. Bro, we're gonna get this advanced UAV in like a minute, 20 seconds. Holy crap. What is going on right now? That's some bad aim. Oh my god. Jesus, bro, can I get some breathing room, please? Oh, man. Oh, one more. What do we do? Oh, he's sniping. That's fun. Oh, he's not going to expect it, boys. Not at all. One more. Oh, he ran, he ran. Bro, we're already four kills away. Oh, it's a wrap. This is gonna be a nice and easy one. What do we need, two kills? Two kills. Oh, they have a UAV though? All right. Yeah, nice reactive, buddy. One more kill, who wants it? Oh, my teammates just demolished those guys. Ah, oh, free kill, free kill. Woo! Woo! Ooh. Survivor medal for last kill. They did not make it easy in the slightest. Oh. Oh my god. We gotta get this jug though. Wow, that was that was bad. I tried to slide in, didn't even get a foot through the door. Oh. Where are these other guys? He's definitely chasing me. Oh, we lost them. Um, yo, we're getting survivor medals every kill. Double nuke question mark? Oh. Come on. Yo. Oh my god, there's four of them. We gotta get out of here. And there's a guy behind me. Oh my god. Gun. Oh my. Yo. Yo. What kill streak are we on? Oh my lord. We are on. Let me do some math real quick. A 36. Oh, we even got sniped. What is. Uh, can we die? Oh, another survive. Yo. What is life? Mmm, I guess I don't know. Oh, okay. I'm not that mad. I was on a 41. I needed nine kills for the, the double. 
But there are only 11 left in the game. And we'll just put down that Centurion for good measure. Completely forgot about it the whole game. We didn't need it. Wow. That match lasted not even four and a half minutes. And we almost dropped a double nuke. That's some crazy stuff, boys. And my best teammate dropped 20. Okay. All right, kids. And three of them went negative. Unbelievable. But, uh, I mean, that was like one of my fastest nukes right there. That was some nice stuff. So that is going to wrap it up for this one, boys. Here's the beautiful nuclear calling card in all its glory. If you guys did enjoy it please be sure to drop a like, comment down below with any thoughts or questions you may have. And as always, subscribe to the channel if you guys are brand new. Some more great videos, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.